That's the truth. I need Jesus every day of my life to walk with me. In reference to what has happened and what has taken place on today in divine obedience to God, Matthew chapter 28, verses 19 and 20. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always even until the end of the world. Thank you very much. I was thinking about this significant moment that we was about to experience on today. And I want to talk about the baptismal formula. I know that's a deep subject, but it's a deep experience. It's an experience that we all need to be aware of when it comes to the doctrine and the formula of baptism and how it affects our lives. The formula of baptism was given by the head of the assembly, Jesus Christ himself. Go into all the world preaching the gospel, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Let me share with you that regardless of what anybody might say to you, there is no contradiction between baptism in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost and baptism in the name of Jesus, which you would find in the book of Acts. We have access to the Father by the Son through the agency of the Holy Spirit. Any one person who denies any one person in the Godhead does not have access to the Father. Listen, the Father chose us. The Son redeemed us and the Holy Ghost quickens us. All the fullness of the Godhead dwell in Jesus Christ. When we accept Jesus as our personal savior and allow the Holy Spirit to become resident boss of our lives, the Holy Ghost quickens us. I'll be back there in just a moment. And when the Holy Ghost quickens us, we become revived. Just like the spring rain quickens the earth, our dead souls are restored to life. The Bible says, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Behold, old things are passed away, and behold, all things become new. 
when it comes to life being under new management, listen, we cannot receive what Christ gives until we receive who Christ is. Christ gives us light. Christ gives us liberty, and Christ gives us hope. I think I'm going to back up and do that again. That when Christ comes into our life, darkness passes away, and God gives us light. When Christ comes into our life, we are no longer bound, but Christ brings us liberty. When Christ comes into our life, we are no longer dead to trespasses, for Christ brings us hope. You get it? The idea of it is, when Christ comes into our life, he comes into our life with a new rule of action. Christ comes into our life, and I'm going to sit down on you. Christ come to in our, comes in our life, he gives us a new experience of pleasure. Old things passed away. And behold, all things become new. When Christ comes into our life, he gives us a new thrill of living because of the fact that he lives within us. When Christ comes into our life, he gives us a new satisfaction of heart. For the love of Jesus abounds in our lives. And this is a multitude of new things. The new things that comes into our life. You see, listen, I receive the New Testament. And when you look at this idea of New Testament, I'm living under a new will. And that is the will and testament of Jesus Christ. That he lives inside of me. And when Jesus lives inside of me, he brings about a new birth. As he told Nicodemus, you must be born again. Nicodemus was silly enough to believe that he could go back into his mother's womb and be born again. Jesus said, no, this birth that I'm talking about comes from the presence of the Holy Ghost. And you know Holy Ghost talk is dead talk in the church now. But look, Jesus said, the Spirit of God is what brings about this new birth. And when this new birth comes into our life, you become a new creature. In the other translations, it says we become a new creation. That means that every day of our life, Thank you while Jesus is walking with us. He's changing us. And we become new creatures, new creations. Every day, something new transpires in our lives. And as we become a new creature, he gives us a new name. I'm a child. A child of God. And when he gives us a new name, he gives us a new song. 
and that new song is in our heart. For those of you who think my statement doesn't have any credibility, Psalms 40 and 3 says that he has put a new song in my mouth. Anybody singing praises to God? He puts a new song in my mouth, even praise unto our God. That's the new song. That the praise I give, that God is good, and he's good all the time. New song that God will make a way out of no way. A new song that if I make one step, God will make two. A new song in our mouth, in our heart, that God is all I need. We have this song to sing. And this song that we sing is a song that comes from our heart. And when we talk about the song that comes from our heart, it's the song that comes from our mind. Our mind is our heart. And that song that we sing in our minds is that I got a mind to live for Jesus all my days. That was a song written on my way out by R. H. McDonald. And R. H. McDonald said, I'll sing it. Everywhere I go, I tell it the world that I know. The joy of salvation that makes my soul glow. For I've been born again. I'm a brand new man. Can you sing that song in your heart today? I've been born again. And let me tell you some good news about being born again. Being born again qualifies you for a brand new land. I got a new home up in Zion. I got, I got a place prepared for me because I've been Born again. I got a new walk and a new talk because I've been born again. I got a new, I got, I got a new stride in my step because I've been born again. Don't talk like I used to talk because I've been born again. I don't act like I used to act because I've been born again. I don't let stuff bother me like it used to bother me because I've been born again. I don't let the weight of the world ride me down because I've been born again. Somebody ought to tell your neighbor I've been born been born again. And if you know that you know that you know you've been born again, you ought to be on your feet waving your hand, clapping your hand, telling your neighbor one thing I know been born been born again. 